Bay Area coastline has been under pressure from an environmental event that's shaken up populations of predators and prey that once kept the system in balance. Yeah, Spencer Christian is here with a look at exactly what happened. Spencer. Okay, Larry and Christian. Researchers at the California Academy of Sciences are hoping skills they are now developing uh, might someday offer help. And at the center of it all, spiky, voracious sea stars. I love that patterning on there. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. Keeping track of sea stars along our coastline has been an urgent mission for Rebecca Johnson of the California Academy of Sciences. She and her teams of volunteers watched as several species, including the giant sunflower star, were decimated by a wasting disease, possibly triggered by a marine heat wave roughly a decade ago, unleashing a chain effect on the ecosystem. And the loss of this huge starfish allowed for one of its prey items, the purple sea urchin, its population to explode. And so with the exploding population of these sea urchins um, came a, a decline in kelp. She says the explosion of hungry purple urchins has evolved into a long-term threat to the kelp forests, which provide major benefits from sequestering carbon to providing a critical habitat for marine life. They've been particularly destructive to the bull kelp, prevalent along the Northern California coast. Kelp forests are amazing. I mean, they're, they're nurseries and habitat for tons of different species, for fish, for many, many different invertebrates. While many species have recovered along the coast, Dr. Johnson says the sunflower star is still largely missing. And with the pressures from climate change, there is ongoing concern about what the future might hold. And then we've got actually two of them right next to each other over here. Big guy, little guy, hanging out. Enter senior biologist Raya Even with the Academy's captive breeding program. Like an expecting parent, she's currently watching over the tiny specks that will grow into adult bat stars. And while bats are not endangered themselves, Even says the secrets they're unlocking could one day help other species like the sunflower stars. And just learning more about their background, what their life cycle's like, what their nutritional needs are, and that is a great gateway to actually do some sort of release program. She says plans to release any species would likely be far off in the future, but there is increasing interest worldwide in learning about the biodiversity of star populations. The research is geared in part to learning which genetic traits might allow a species to survive pressures like warming ocean waters or marine diseases. So this was kind of our catalyst to make sure we can do it here in-house and use it as a jumping off point um, to hopefully work with other sea star species. Academy researchers are doing similar work with coral, which is also facing pressures from climate change and fluctuation in the marine environment. They're hoping that the work will help scientists better manage the fragile ecosystems and the predators like sea stars that help keep it in balance. There are now calls by some experts to reintroduce sea otter populations to the north coast, which also prey on sea urchins. And the hope is that like the sea stars, the otters would help the kelp forest by keeping the hungry urchins in check. Larry and Kristen.